hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to discuss about what are the different kinds of plugins we can install in our website so whatever the plugins i'm going to discuss now so these are the must and should plugins for each and every wordpress website so now let's get started by using what exactly we can create a website what is the main thing you use to create a website themes right so you have worked on few themes and after finally what you understood from the theme you can use only few options what it is showing you am i right let's say if you want to have extra things like slider and if you want to design the menu section or else if you want to have some extra things in your website at the time you can happily depends on this plugins option okay so now let us say i can say one example that you are purchasing you know you have purchased one mobile phone by default when you purchase a mobile phone what you will get inbuilt apps you will get right so like you know you will be getting some play store you will be getting youtube and you know some apps you will get so if you want to have uh, some extra features or else extra apps so what you will do if you want to have some extra things in your mobile phone what you will do install we have to install so you will just install from play store right so now that things you don't get by default when you purchase a mobile phone here also when you purchase a wordpress hosting so you will be getting a from uh, you will be getting a, a few free things to practice that is called a few mobile uh, apps okay if you want to have uh, some extra things if you want to design some extra features in your website then other time you can use this plugins plugins act as a simply play store okay and we can install this plugin same like a uh, apps in a mobile phone and work on it now let me just show you a few plugins and show you how that plugins works out first thing and let me show you now this is code now a person been to this discord in if he scroll down you can see a medium thing like this name email address phone and message so do we have a this kind of option in themes can we use that can we use this kind of things in the theme have you ever so uh, now 10 people are there so you 10 people tell me have you noticed this kind of option in the themes so uh, set up in some name and email address phone and message okay tell me what is the point of showing this medium in website mm -hmm. what is the point of showing this medium name email mm -hmm. is someone who is interested in our website uh, who is okay. in our stuff mm -hmm. yes that was right so tell me what is the point of creating a beautiful website so you are just uh, publishing some content and you know you are attracting the people some images and all so what do you want your ultimate goal is to generate some business right so how you will generate some business when you interact with your customers right so let's say now if you don't have any medium like this contact form in your website so now 10 people comes to my website and if they have any queries about my business like what is the course fees and what is the duration and also if they want to clear their queries if they want to clear their doubts so it there has to be one medium where they can directly interact with the website owner or else any uh, counselor to clear their doubts so if i don't put any kinds of medium how i can interact with my customers and how would i know that yes these many people have been to my website and if they have any queries also how they can do so that is what blindly don't work on only designing for so here we need to start marketing okay so from now our marketing thing is going to start we need to have a mediums to interact with the customers who have been to my website so first thing this is what contact form so these kinds of contacts form you cannot do with directly with the teams if you go with the premium teams also you cannot do it. so teams are just for designing exactly what you want here if you want to put a content right side or bottom side left side so those thing you can do but putting that these kinds of mediums happens only with the help of plugins okay now let us see how to install the contact form plugins okay so 
that medium we call it as a contact form so that people can uh, visit my website so they can give their information like name email address phone number so that information is received by me so i can i can call them back and i can know their exact requirement what exactly they want so this is what we generate this is what we generate leads and we generate some business now let us get into the website and see how we're gonna install this Tell me now what I have to do. I want to install a plugin called Contact Form. So now where should I go? Plugin. So mm -hmm. just uh, reach out the option called Plugin. So find out the option where it is. So here you can see option called Plugins. Just go there. Okay. So by default, these are the few plugins by default you have. So if you want to install any new plugin, just click on this. I can. Right. So what is the plugin name? Contact form. Adding additional benefits. Okay. Now let us say, tell me now if you open a Play Store and search for any app. So on what basis you will be installing any app? Now I can see if I search with the contact form, I can find the few free plugins here. Contact form, contact form by WP forms, Insure forms, Forminator. So many things I have. So tell me what you will be installing. Based on so, Based on? Very good. Seriously. Now. Uh, when I want to install any app, so I will see some reviews and I will see the active installations as well. So contact form builder, PDF forms, advanced to contact form. So many are the PayPal, contact form by subsisting. So your active installations. So by seeing these all things, I will find out the good plugin and I will install it. Mm, okay, uh, let me just go with this. Install in such a way you can practice any of the plugins showing here so you can install whatever you want. I'm just trying to show with the contact form by subsisting now. Activate. Okay, now I have a contact form in my website. Let me open the website now. Tell me now, where is my contact form? I have installed it and I have activated it. Where is my contact form? Contact us. Okay, contact us. Mm -hmm. First, we need to copy the plugin. Uh, we have to add my in appearance uh, with the app. See now what happened, we just installed and activated it, but we haven't designed the contact form. Okay, we have to choose what contact form I have to show and we have to choose the place of contact form also, where exactly I want to show. We haven't done yet. So just installed and activated. Again, it's not a magic that once you install it is going to appear in your website. You have to work, have to customize. Now let us get into this. Now, where is the contact form? Here, can you see the left side? So earlier there was no contact form. So now once you install any plugin, so it will settle up here in the left side. So that means that option you can try to use in your website. Right, this is what contact form now. Just click that. Okay, 
so now you have a no forms for no create your form so we don't have any forms right now so i just want to create it so create right so form name so give a name for your form simply One, two, three, four, five. So how many contact forms you have? See, so these are the few layouts you need to choose here. So what is the layout you want to show up in your website? So choose anything according to your you know, design, according to your requirement. Uh, let me just go with this support service. Okay, let me choose this and save it. So will my contact form appears in my website? I have choose the layout as well. Will my will my contact form appears now? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yes, it I don't want perfect answer. Okay, tell me. Home page. No. No. So it won't appear in the website directly because we haven't specified the position. We just choose what I want to show, but we haven't choose where exactly I want to show. So here again, you can design your template as well. Now in the theme also, we can design the template, right? The same way here, you can design the template. Here, can you see this is a template it looks right now? And choose each and every option. What is this width? So as of now, the width is 400. Okay, uh, let me go with this. What if I choose the 200 and save it? Let me scroll down. So can you see now? So are you noticing the changes? So earlier it was a 400 and it was a 200 now. Okay. So now width is not, I'm not satisfying with the width. Let me go with the 400. So inputs background. What is this inputs background? So color, white color as of now. So let's try to change the color and see what is happening. So white color right let me choose the thing like red color and save it and see where this red color is appearing so we can't so where it is appearing so here it is right that means this is a place called inputs background so when i try to use the option only i came to know so without using the option so i cannot judge it so in such a way you choose let me go with the white only as of now white is better and text color what is text color text color so here the text color is light black so let me try to change it to complete black and see can you see now the text color become complete black now and then form background so as of now the form background is an image okay so if it is an image you can choose it so no i don't want to show image i just want to show only color if you want to show the color you can show it so simply choose a color option then select the color red whatever red save it can you see now so in such a way you can design the complete uh, a contact form as well so as of now this is how the contact form. so in such a way please try to uh, use each and every each and every option present over here and if you go this is what design folder and if you want to see what happens with the field folder just choose this what is this field field okay first i can see some text and i can see some question name email address whatever the field you can see here here you can see question email and then address and all okay so if you want to add anything you can just click on this add new field and add so let us see what is there here so one image the small image i can see here and john snow so john snow if you want you can simply change here I 
everything so we so here you have a like uh, google plus and then twitter so fb icons as well and here are some contacts feel free to contact us and don't worry everything gonna back you can also get it so if you want to edit that text you can simply so where you can see all these things in the template here right so your name and the client service so the text as well if you want to edit you can edit so as of now i don't want to edit it was good okay fine okay then what is this question so this is the field of a question normally so my first thing is a question if you want to use that question or you can use it or else if you want to delete that you can simply click on this delete option so i just want to delete it as of now and the next comes is a name okay fine name field so name name and icon so if you want to use any icon so you can use it so but it is a pro option and advanced field validation so if you want to have uh, some conditions you can use it simply okay so fine as of now it is fine name so email address enter a message so if i want to add a contact number can i add so i want to ask them contact number as well can i do that yes, yes. i can do that simply click on this add a new field so find out the option okay here i can see option called number okay so just what what happens with the what happens with the uh, other folders okay so now enter message is there so if i click this folder what it is showing us message and enter message if i click this contact number number and contact number so try to use try to see others folders and i try to change with the remaining folders okay and save it okay now so krishna priya client service and i can see like uh, some text over here name and email address fine so this is what i can simply choose it then save it uh, what are those arrow marks when you... where where this 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 so if you want to uh, bring up that upside now let us say this email address i want to bring up upside so just click that you can choose it now what happens see here i want to bring up right side means i can just simply yes see here in such a way you can order it i'm not talking about those uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when when you're putting cursor mm -hmm. yes this thing if you if you if you use that so it is asking you now email address what is this field enter your message so be up, upside of enter message what field you want to add if you want to add anything field you can just add so now if you want to add anything you can add it like subscribe check rows one release month so if you click on the top arrow so what you want to add on the top side if you click the down arrow what you want to add a down section if you click on right side what you want to add a right side got it now can you add something on yes, right and left side no no see now this is a right side right let us say that a uh, right side and i want to add a some text here text Can you see right side? Getting my point. Okay. okay. So now again, uh, in the contact number is there. So if I add right left side, so click this, and I want to add uh, something. Okay, let me choose a text. Text, and then enter text. Where it is appearing? Can you see? right side left side so if you want to add on top you can just choose this arrow if you want to add a something on a bottom side you can choose that what you are entering dual tags sorry text and text and text why you are entering i just 
that is what label so when i click this so i want to show the customers what it is enter text i want to show the uh, text right for the students or as for the customers so that is what entering test so i choose the text label and i want to show the text for the customer who are choosing that option who are putting a cursor on that option uh, no my question is what is place folder sorry what is place folder Play, that is what text so what you want to appear now your email address enter your name enter your message that is what text i want to put it in the place folder so it is showing up here can you see the contact number what you want to show as a text when someone put a cursor on it getting my point no see here i got it but not it okay see see now contact number is there okay i just choose it so number the name i have to give for the label the name i have to give it for the option so place folder means when i have i am showing some text for the customer who ever writing something in that option that is what simply contact number okay it means like you are giving a guidance to the visitor oh, simply no what simply ah uh, what to enter simply the text i am showing them so here also enter your message so if i click this so when someone sees that enter your message they will enter some message and if i ask them to enter email address they can enter some email address yeah. so i am just showing them text got it yeah. Yeah. yes and so i just don't want to show this text two times let me remove it remove it first thing is i want to ask them name name is fine the next thing email address is fine so i just don't want this message option okay message option has to be there okay now fine everything is fine with me let's save it name email address contact number and enter message chalo so where my contact form will appears now where it appears tell me now anyone i have designed it and i have choosed what all the labels i want to show in the contact form now tell me where I, your contact form will appear prabhu are you there yeah i have still no so you were uh, you were you have joined two times i got it now what happened can you see here subsisting form id equals to 11 okay so this is the code you have to paste wherever you want to show this contact form simply okay so now i just designed it so if you just design your contact form won't appear in the website you have to uh, specify the place as well got it now let us say i want to show this subsisting in some of my pages let me just open pages and about us contact us is there let me show up in the about us page front page edit it so what it is asking you to paste it in the form of short code so don't paste it directly you have to paste it in the form of short code if you paste that directly it won't apply you have to paste it in the form of short code so plus icon and then search for a short code here short code. here you can see short code and paste it then update got it now where will my contact form appears tell me where is my contact form about about a speech in about so why only in about us can you see now why only in about us because we paste a code in our why hmm. because we paste our code in our about us page only Yes. So, in such a way, wherever you paste, will it appears or not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, if I wants to show up in the sidebar and footer bar, can I show it? Mm -hmm. How many say yes and how many says yes? Yes. Yes. So, let us see now. Go to appearance and widgets.
Okay, can you see this contact form by subsisting? So earlier, can, uh, do we, can we see this option earlier? Did you find this option earlier while we were doing something in the widgets option yesterday? Did you find the option, contact form? No, no, we don't have any contact form earlier. So now it is showing the contact form and directly it is available in a widgets to use it. So why? Because we have installed the plugin. So you can just choose it, the place where you want. I want to show in the primary site button, then add a widget. Then if you want, you can write something. Then save it. So let's go back. see now where it is appearing your contact mm -hmm. right, yes. side bottom. right side right so this is what widgets so if I want to show the same uh, thing in the footer bar can I show it so if you can see a dizzy course I have shown this contact form in the middle and I was I tried showing this contact form same in the footer section so that things you can try it got it so now understood right plugin so now your task is that design a very good plugin the contact form plugin and when someone fill up the contact form so who will receive that information who will receive and where they will receive so I want you to find that information so now I told you how to design and where exactly you have to place your task is that so try to try to fill up the contact form by yourself only get into the website and try to give whatever the labels you give so try to fill up and see where you can receive that information that is your task and tell me tomorrow whether you can receive any information of contact form or not and where exactly you gonna see it if you can send me a whatsapp a screenshot also it is fine with me but i just want to see everyone have to do this task understood the task Yes, yes or no? Yeah, this is interesting, in fact, comparing with yesterday. <laughs> yes, yes. See, the next thing, okay. How many of you uh, can fill up the contact form? Now here, do you uh, spend that time? Do you spend time to fill up the contact form? So in if, if you can see many websites, many websites have a something like automated kinds of platform so where you can directly chat with the website owners or else counselor so now if you fill up the contact form can you guarantee when you will get a reply back from the website owners so let's say you are in an um, agent like you no, know, you want some instant responses you want to inquire very soon and you want to join the course very soon so at the time fill up in a contact form and getting a reply back from the owners and you have to wait some time so it is a long term process and you don't have a time so if you just inquire the 10 websites, among the 10 websites out of 10, so 5 websites goes with a contact form and 5 websites goes with a automated. Which one will you choose? Automated. Why? Because you are getting some instant responses from them. So you can ask the queries directly and you can clear it. So fatafat closed, done. So contact form means, so they have to call, call us, they have to inquiry. So it's kind of thing. So where it is a long term process. So if you want to overcome, so we do have some disadvantages and advantages with the contact form. The main disadvantages is that it's a time taking process. So people nowadays are becoming very lazy and they don't even feel to uh, fill up all the things, whatever you're asking. Okay, They don't feel like giving all the information. So at that time you can just go with the automated things. So have you ever noticed a live chat kinds of things in the websites? Live chat. Mm -hmm. No? You might have observed. Nowadays it's becoming very crazy, live chat. Mm -hmm. So you can directly visit a website and directly chat with them. Okay. So this is what live chat and what I have to do to have the live chat in my website? Can I do with the help of themes? Themes? Yes. Oh, yes, again, so I told you already in the beginning, we cannot do these things with the help of teams. I can depend on plugins easily. 
Now let us go back to the plugins and try to install live chat now. Mm, tell me the process. Go to plugins now. Then add new. Then what is the plugin? Live chat. Live chat means live you can chat with the owners or customers. TD or live chat, live chat WP, live chat, chat by GCX. So you can install whatever you want. So top geo live chat, live chat by formula, smarts up live chat. Oh, many things are there. Live chat, live support, WordPress live chat plugin for WooCommerce, live chat, quick you chat 100% free live. So Chatra live chat, Chatra. <laughs> I thought it was Chitra. So live chat by subsystic, let me try to install it. Live chat by customerly. So normally where do you observe these kinds of live chat in the websites? What would be the position? Mm -hmm. Right bottom. Right bottom. Yes, right bottom normally. So Whenever you visit any website, suddenly a pop-up will come. So it will ask you something, right? So if you have any queries, inquiries, you can directly click on that button and start sharing. Now let us open my website, then refresh it. Can you notice anything here in my website? Let's chat. Let's chat. What is that? What is live that? Live chat. Live chat. So it's simply a live chat. So I haven't designed it. No. So with the what happens with the contact form? So first of all, I have to design it. I have to choose how exactly it has to show and I have to choose I have to specify the place as well. Then why it is not asking me these things for the live chat? Directly it is showing I haven't done anything. I just installed the plugin. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can do it. Again, you can do it. So, but automatically the live chat position will be in the right bottom side. Here the live chat is there. Okay, live chat by some system. Can you see here? You can design it same like a contact form. You can design it now. The chat position is. Can you see this? Bottom right, top left. That means where your position is. Top left. Here it will be right. Top left. And I have option top center. Where it appears. Top center here. And then the next thing is a top right, here it appears. Bottom left, here it appears. Bottom center, here it appears. Bottom right, here it appears. Choose the position here. Okay, I'll choose like uh, bottom right, that is fine. What is this width? Width is a 300. Let me go with the um, 400 save it see here you can see the preview the chat so this is how the bed so 200 if I go with the 200 see how it appears this is how and height of the message box so if you want to define the height also you can define it like just go with the 400 This is the height 
and then short chat bar padding so padding it will uh, you know show up the padding main theme title main theme color so it is in a sky blue color so if you want to change the color you can simply do it what happens if i go to the right can you see the main theme color has been changed in such a way you can just spend some time on this main theme color titles color okay what is the titles color it is in a white color let me just go with uh, blue and save it see where it is appearing so when i use this only i can exactly find it so let's chat and start chat those things are in a earlier those things are in a white color and now they are showing in a blue color all right so main background color it is a white color if you want to just choose it i just want to show you so if you if you have a good taste of colors you can simply choose it. can you see now so in such a way you can design it exactly okay so form you know a kind of font style if you want to change the font style you can simply change it in such a way just maintain or uh, try to use each and every option when you use only uh, you can just uh, have a good knowledge on this so again when show when it has to show mm -hmm. when it has to show now tell me when you want to show this pop up when somebody enters into the website okay so here when page load that means when people opens the website and it gets load suddenly it appears so if you want to show after some time if you want to delay you can just delay uh, like you know i just want to show the pop up after some time like you know two seconds or three seconds you can say so if you want to show up uh, the pop up when someone clicked on any page or else any certain page you can choose this right so try to use all these options as of now it is fine with me okay so now open this refresh it can you see here this is the light shed so my thing is in a blue color if i click this email address and name so can anyone open the soft.vnaturehealth.in and try to give your information open it let me show how it works so this is a live chat right so lively we have to chat with the customers who are chatting with us now tell me yes yes open it hmm. okay and start giving the questions give your email address and all one no one want to fill up that okay can you see this i just did that okay you got it keshava6900@gmail.com so i got some inquiry let me click this so i want to chat with that customer let me try to chat Can you hear that sound? Not Are you getting replaced, Shiva? Oh yes, yes. Yes, yes. With sound, with sound effect. Yes, and did you receive them replaced from me? <coughs> from that? Yes. Please try to replay back. Yes. Okay. Right. So in such a way, you can directly chat. Now, can you see now? One, two, three people. So, why more? Oh my God. So, 
Is it possible for me to give a reply back to all of these at a time? So Prabhu, Meena, Vishnu, Kirtika. So three people uh, have, uh, you know, are using my let's chat and they messaged it. So is it possible for me to reply back to all users all at a time? Now let us say Prabhu been to my website now. So how many minutes he will stay in my website? Maximum. Tell me. Maximum? Maximum you will wait. You will wait for 5 minutes. So not even 5 minutes I can use. So you just wait for 2 minutes or 1 and a half minutes. Am I right? So if you don't get any response from our side within 2 minutes also, would you like to stay in my website Prabhu? Mm -hmm. No, right? Normally, we are this kind of people only. We never wait for such a time, more time to get responses. Now, I was chatting with the Shiva and I am not able to reply back to remaining other users. Then what happening here? Am I facing the user's bad experience or not? So, people will... Now, yes. I have all queries. Now, Prabhu will go off. So, what is the point if I just chat with the Prabhu now? So he is not there in my website. What is the what is the point of chatting with him now? Mm -hmm. Is there any use? So again, the system website have an automatic configuration So now let us see. Swiggy has that. So what happened? Many people, many people are going with automation now. Is it is it an automated one? Is it automated? So half automated. I can say so again a manual power is required am I right so someone has to be there for 24 hours to replay back to the users am I right so even someone are there also they can't replace so we do we just have only two hands so we can work as much as we can do with the two hands that's it but we cannot do the uh, more work right so we cannot replay to all of the let's say if you get a thousands of replays daily thousands of inquiries daily all at a time so is it possible again no right it's not at all possible for us so again we do have uh, some disadvantage with the live chat as well okay? because we cannot able to if one user come okay fine two users come okay i can manage but what happens if 10 and 20 users come all at a time and i cannot able to replay back them so this is called users bad experience so when comes seo Google's bad experience is also one of the factors Google reduces your rank. That also Google, uh, Google's factors. Okay, so now live chat is also one of the drawback. So in order to overcome the drawback of live chat, so we can automate it. Okay, so you might have observed many websites, you know, directly some automated uh, inbuilt responses you might have observed. Have you, have you ever noticed like, you know, if you just click on that pop-up directly, it will ask you a few questions, directly it will ask you some multiple choice and blah blah blah. So you might have observed, right? So that is called chatbot. So chatbot is, you know, it's a crazy uh, chatbot, crazy plugin in digital marketing. So no website is there without a chatbot. Everyone are going with the chatbot because no manual power is required. So it, it works with artificial intelligence. So machine can work it can give a one lakh replace back at all at a time also there is no manual prayer power required that is the reason everyone are trying to use this chatbot in their websites okay chatbot now let us see how we can install it and work with it okay so again i can do with the help of plugins only let us get into the plugins and add board chat board for wordpress so you have a like live chat by formula live chat so again don't install this live chats chat board for messenger chat board beautiful chat board wordpress chat board okay let me try to install this
easy steps to get started. If you are not an existing collect.chat user, create a free account. So now we are not an existing collect.chat user, right? So let me create a free account now. Sign up Google. Untitled create a blank chat board. So here it is asking you uh, whether you want to use already a chat board that is inbuilt it or else you want to chat, you want to create a blank board. Mm, okay, let me go with the blank board. Edit it. Okay, so welcome. How do you plan to use this board? So as a widget or else as a landing page or else embedded. So let's say that uh, landing page means directly like a page it will show up. So how exactly wants to show this chatbot on the right bottom side or else right center so in the place right. So here if you put a cursor it will show you. Install a chat box in your web pages. Share your custom design landing page. Insert a chatbot anywhere on the page or blogs as a iframe so it will like a embedded one so i don't want to show this so i just choose this widget option that is best suitable for me okay start creating it okay the next what you can see here can you see position where exactly wants to show if i choose this what happened your uh, chatbot will be somewhere else the right bottom if i choose this center if i choose this left side okay so try to choose the position where it wants to show up so let me go with this is a form and welcome message so what is the welcome message that you want to show An avatar so same like a whatsapp dp you can choose some avatar here so if you don't want to show any one of these you, you can directly upload it if you have anything in your desktop the picture of yours you can simply upload it okay let me just go with this person the theme entire theme color so as of now the theme color is in a green color so if you want you can just choose the colors as well if you are good at colors this is the few options I have here to design it. The next, let us see what is the next thing. Script. Okay. The script I have here. Hello. What are you looking out for? Thank you for completing so I can see something here. So, first thing is saying hello is okay, fine. Okay. What are you looking out for? So, what are you looking out for means 10 people comes to my website. Now Shiva will be having some questions, Prabhu will be having some questions and Nina, Kirtika. So many people have a many different mindsets and no, I can't expect the direct answer, direct question. So what they will be asking, I cannot decide exactly, right? So what are you looking out from means? So I cannot give uh, all hundreds of inbuilt answers from this automated. So instead of asking the question, give them a chance to choose the multiple choice so they can directly choose over there so now this is not a great question for the automated one let me delete it so delete. here again you have option called adding the labels okay let me add the multiple choice here it is edit it select an option are you looking
question so here I can give her some options like or else I can see such a way I can give the options and all okay and fine let me just choose it done Hello, thanks for completing. This is a message that comes in the second position. And are you looking out for is in the last position? If you want to set up in a proper order, you can drag. So I just want to show up in second position. Thanks for completing. What is this? Thanks for completing. Mm, okay, it is showing me. Thanks for completing some image. It is showing us. Okay, so if you want, oh, upgraded one. If I wants to use that means when someone click that URL where they want to redirect. So if I wants to use this, I have to go with the premium one. Okay, fine, not required. Again, can I ask some email address and contact number? So if you still have any questions that you want to ask your customers, you can simply ask. I want to ask them the phone number. Please provide your contact. Error message if you want to uh, send any error message when they give the invalid contact number, so you can just send out. I can give some email address as well. Let me give the email address. Okay, what is your email address? Fine. Okay. Right. So this is how I just uh, right done with the script. First, it will ask. It will say hello. Then, are you looking out for? Then, what is your email address? Please provide your email address. And if you want to have this, or else you can have, or else simply you can just. Uh, uh, delete it if you want so as of now let me just put it like this and the next publish it uh -huh. so here the next comes here what it is asking me to publish is first thing add to website okay copy the above code snippet and paste it into your html code preferably before choosing header section so where it is asking me to enter this code anyone here from the background of coding coding background akanksha tell me where it is asking uh, it me to means it, it means it uh, means like html after that head head joha close ho raha hai uske just before hame is code ko paste karna hai you have See, to paste it so if you uh, don't know how to paste it here it will show you some instructions you can still follow that instructions so let me copy it let's go back chatbot snippet you can see so here you can simply enter that okay you no need to get into the header section and all because here we have already a option of adding a snippet so where you wants to show the chatbot everywhere everywhere on the website only home page everywhere except home page nowhere so where you want to show up some okay let's let's save this hmm. i saved it now okay let's open our website and refresh it
can you notice now can you see anything here in my website yes anyone click here option can you see yeah so now this is the thing my chatbot is so if i click this so first they were saying me hello and are you looking out for so here i got a some uh, multiple choice like seo course google ads and cpc marketing i have to choose any one of these multiple choice let me go with this seo course what is your email address so i can type the email address provide your contact number thanks for completing see can you see here so why it is showing me the thanks for completing mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. tell me the answer because we insert that the thank you section thank you section Not right so if i don't want can i delete that yes yes i can simply just go back and delete it that's it got it so now i have a live chat and i have a chat board again it depends on your business seriously so now i have a business on digital marketing that is the reason i was trying to ask them few questions on the training like a seo business so again depends on your business and niche you try to create a inbuilt questions and ask the people few questions and try to so while asking a question try to grab the information as well like email address and contact info that will be very helpful for you when you do when you wants to do some email marketing you require some quality emails so at that time it will be very helpful for you and if you want to send some bulk sms then you require some contact so if you can grab some information from the users then only you can do all these kinds of marketing okay so now i have a two things like live chat and chat board do we require two things in one place now a person been to this soft.nature.com here he can see two things so will it be confusion for him or not which one has to click on from which one i have to give some information so they don't even show some interest if i show like this am i right so if i wants to delete something what i can do if i wants to delete simply simply go uh, the place where we paste the code and uh, remove i want to delete the live chat how and install deactivate that's it simple now nah? so go back and then try to uninstall the plugin whichever you don't want to show up in the website so uninstall and deactivate now go to plugins what is that plugin name uh, live chat right so here the live chat is there so deactivate it simple so now it's get disappear from your website in such a way you can deactivate and you can completely remove it so if you delete you know some space will be uh, you know you can save some space if you delete the plugins okay right and one more thing i want to show you the thing is pop up let me show you one thing now beauty crew website i visited a beauty crew website now beautycrew.com i'll try to spend some time here in this website now let me scroll down roll okay what is this what is this suddenly it is showing me some pop up kind of thing and it is asking like first name last name email birthday phone number and subscribe what it is yes that is simply pop up so what is the use what is the use of showing some pop ups in website mm -hmm. so now i have a live chat and chat booth and contact form then again what is the use of this thing 
What is the purpose of installing the live chat and contact forms in your website? Purpose? Data collection. Data. So I am trying to collect the data as well as trying to interact with the customers. So here also you can grab the data with these kinds of things as well like a pop up so you are just trying to subscribe to your newsletter asking them to subscribe to your newsletters or else you know asking them them to keep the email address so in such a way you can collect the data very quality leads you will get how to have these kinds of pop up in your website Again, with the help of plugins only. All the plugin or plugins. Pop -up or plugins. Just go to add new and click on uh, search for a pop-up plugins. You will find a number of pop-up plugins and try to install in your website. Search for pop-up. Okay. Pop-up builder responds you has sell marketing, social media share buttons, many things are there. Pop-up maker. Pop-up chop chop. What is this? Let me see. Chop chop. Pop up shop shop. Okay, let me go back to website now. Refresh it. Where it appears the pop up. Can we enter in a website? I visited this website now. Why it is not showing the pop up? See now, we haven't created the pop up, right? We have to design the pop up. So, what wherever you go, you can design live chat, you can design chat board, design contact form. So, when you design only, you can show that. Okay, now let us see. Add a new pop up. have a few things like templates to use encourage the users to leave which one okay it looks somewhat attractive let me use this pop up and then so let's go back so now this is the purpose so if you still want to add any new pop-up you can add let's go back to the website refresh it can you see now encourage the users to leave their emails and all so here I if you want to edit the things here you can still edit it Go back and then click this edit option. The things and so your pop up status turned on, turned off. You can use always center the pop up. If you want to send, put it in the center, you can just show on mobile devices. So if you want to show on mobile devices, you can show. 
show only on mobile devices so if you only wants to show on mobile devices only then show it and show after zero symptoms so if you want you can delay now let us say a person visited this website so why the person will give simply the email address without knowing what is the content you have in your website without knowing what is the services you provide why anyone can give the email address no right so we have to give them some time to get an idea about our business then only if he has some interest he can give some email address and so don't irritate the people by showing these kinds of proper unless and if it is necessary right so just use it properly so whatever the plugin i am trying to say it here so it's not mandatory to use all the plugins choose it according to your requirement let us say that i want to show only after 10 seconds okay here can you see email notifications a new subscriber so this is what the notification comes to your email and like your what are the fields you want to add first do you want to add a mail do you want to ask them mail you can ask so if you still want to ask them email address ask them phone number ask their name you can add a simple fix okay and the next comes save it i have so i am trying to use each and every option present over here that's it let's go back refresh it so now page loads after page loads so after 10 seconds only your pop up will appear 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, oh, ten seconds. I was counting late. I think. So can you see now? After ten seconds, your pop up is appearing. So it is better to show up the pop up after ten seconds. Okay, like you know, you are just giving some time to see what is there in your website. In such a way, you can delay for twenty seconds, sixty seconds, eighty seconds, hundred seconds. So you can just mention, right? So now I just use this template, right? So if you don't like this template, you can use it. So go to settings and choose uh, you know whatever you want. Just you can just uh, try to export the options and all. Okay. Right. So what are the plugins we have seen till now? You know how to create a contact form, how to design it, and what is the slide chart, and what is the importance of this, and chat code and pop up. So now. I want you to create a, all four of these things. I want to see in your website. I want to see contact form, but try to use other contact form. So now, now I used one contact form, right? Other than that, use other thing. Okay, other than that, if you can use anything, it's okay. But don't try to use the same thing because as I have already shown you, there is nothing uh, new thing you want to create. You want to do some exploration? No. So just go with the other plugins. then live chat chat bot four things i want so hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching